As a real estate professional here at Lion Desk, we know how crucial it is to be constantly in front of your clients and your consumers in this market, but also ahead of your competitors at all times. So we're gonna dive into five key topics that are gonna help you as a real estate agent create killer video content in today's market. Number one is choose a relevant topic. Now it may sound a little obvious, but just know this is super essential, you guys. You wanna make sure you focus on topics that are going to educate, build trust, and boost your credibility. Choose topics that um, in your video that are gonna help you demonstrate you know, what's happening, what's truly happening now in the market, how this may impact them, and why is this even relevant to them. Show the viewers that you genuinely care, that you're there to help, and that you're also there to help make the best decision for them and their family when they come across their pros and cons when finalizing a decision. Now, some of the examples that your topics include could be updates on the housing market, you know, inventory, the prices that are going on, recent changes in uh, interest rates and how that may impact them, the latest listings or open houses that you have, even get with a loan officer and dive into the steps to getting a loan. Now these are just small little tips that you can use uh, to communicate in your video to boost not only yourself, but help your community for those that are looking to buy. Now remember, at the end, it's to focus on to educate them, to boost your credibility, and to build trust. Now number two is include inside takeaways. Now that is, in your videos, do more than just share information and facts. Because you know, most of your clients and possible new clients are gonna get the information they want off the internet. All that information is at their fingertips from their phone, social media, and they can search online and get the information. So dive in a little bit more and make it easy for them. And in your video, include insights, takeaways, and advices on whatever topic that you want to dive into. Now, make sure that you think about how the topic is gonna to impact your audience and what it means for them, because that is the key here, is what does this information that you sh are sharing mean to them? Make sure that those insights are included in all your videos as you're sharing them throughout. For example, if you choose to create a video about housing inventory, don't just share and rattle percentages and numbers of that month, Take a little, you know, dive up a little bit and kick a little notch, kick it up a little bit and share more like an example of, talk more about the inventory, the ups, the downs. What does that mean for them? How does that impact your audience? How does it affect them in today's market? Is it a buyer type of market? Is it a seller's type of market? Does this information mean that it's a good time to sell or not? Or, you know, what is it that you're looking to give to them to share? Now, these are just a few tips, but remember, creating and sharing your own videos positions you as not only the owner as a business sales professional, but an expert in the specific topic at hand that you are sharing to your community. Number three, target a specific audience. This is crucial, you guys, to make sure you take note on that. The next time you think about creating a video, think about a way how you can mass bulk this video to multiple people via a text and email and speak to multiple audiences by creating one video. Now, how amazing is that? You know, ask yourself the question, who am I talking to? The best videos address a specific audience or a group of people that will give them the information that they need directly and relevant to them, you guys, and provide them the solution with some specific type of audience that you guys can consider are just as simple as first time home buyers, renters, FSBOs, you know, out of state movers, you know, even expired listings. These specific audiences are just a few that most real estate agents already have, but there's different types of tags and audiences that you have. Just keep those in mind when creating these videos. 
You always wanna be specific, like you're speaking to that audience because it's gonna help you create a process that is much easier and you can also send to multiple people when communicating in your drips for texting, emailing, and it will help because you're communicating to one person, it looks like, as you're creating your, your content. Number four is include captivating visuals. What I mean by that is create videos with cap captivating visuals where they're moving. You're not just talking. So for example, here I am just sitting talking to you guys and sharing these tips. But as I'm doing these tips, I'm also going to start moving around if you're showing a home and give the example of, you know, that motion of constantly moving as you're speaking to them. Now, this is a quick little example that I wanted to share with you guys and use, you know, other examples that you can use is use a neighborhood when you're out and about. If you're sharing the community, you know, the historical buildings, dramatic natural backdrops, you can have a backdrop um, in your video. But not only that, this will provide a visual interest to keep the viewers engaged at all times. So I'm sure as I was moving, that little bit of motion kept you engaged. So try something as simple as that because the key here is to keep them engaged from start to finish. Now, number five, the very last one is brand the video for that personal touch. What I mean by that is whether you're making your own videos or you have someone else creating the videos for you or you have like your assistant or your team or you have a professional creating these videos, Personalization and showing your brand is key to make sure that you're always, always in your videos, it's showing who this video is created by to keep your name out there, your business out there at all times. They will keep you always on top of your viewers. So if they're watching a video, they know who this is from, this information is from. So if they want to reach out to you to work with you, they have that information at hand, like your name, your phone number, your email, the simple three that you want to make sure is always on a video plus your brand, which could be your headshot, your logo that speaks who you are and you know what you're about. And no matter what you guys, every single video, you want to make sure that you include that information so that you guys are always ahead of your competitors so that you can share this content as it's being shared because you never know. You may send this information out either via email or text. They may think it's relevant to somebody else and they may share that video. Like any tips on staging, loan uh, percentages, how to get a loan when it comes across that information. But also on YouTube, if you upload this information, any type of videos, you wanna make sure that information is there because if they share that video, now they know who to reach out to because you've engaged another viewer. Now we wish you guys the best in success this year. We wanna see you guys succeed. Try these five tips as you're creating killer content for 2021. And don't forget that with Lion Desk, we're always here to share the tips to help you grow.